All right. Well, well, good time to get now out. You gotta go. I'm like, cause it, cause <gasps> it sucks about doing the goddamn live shows. You gotta fucking post it. And my yeah, phone's over here. Sure. Oh, oh, All okay. right, we're live. It's <laughs> I thought you just wanted to walk into France. <laughs> <laughs> Make an appearance. Like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> every, every like live YouTube show starts off with everyone on their phones being like, hey, we're live now. We it's live. Uh, KFC Radio Radio, another edition here on Wednesday. Today joining us, Chris O'Connor. Nate Marshall, this kind of just materialized at the last second because <laughs> we, we knew we knew of a few people who were either live in Nashville or were gonna be here, but uh, with the festival being in town, we're finding out all sorts of people are yeah are uh, down here. So happy to have you guys. I just got in this morning. Oh, You've yeah. been here for days. Yeah, just most of them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, how long, how long did you get in? We got in Sunday. Sunday we took a day okay. of rest because the whole weekend before was crazy. So we just. Took that day off on the Monday. It's right back yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. He's been on the road with Shane. Shane cut right. him jerking off. On the on the walk over. <laughs> on the walk. Time you've ever even talked to me. And I, what's crazy is so it's the first mm. time we've talked mm. to Nate. I already knew that about you, <laughs> and now we're talking about a face to face. He said well, he, he said you used a whole bottle, bro. <laughs> oh. it, it was it was an empty bottle of conditioner. It just looked uh, the same. He's like you went through that, but. <laughs> I told him, he's like, yeah, fuck, you're right, dude. <laughs> but he did catch you. He did. Yeah, he called He said he knocked on the door, and you were like, one second. I had, I had just got out of the shower. I knew we were all going to be in a, like, a space together. So I was like, all right, let me get one out now before yep. I fucking camp <laughs> for a whole week. And I had headphones in. I'm sitting down. I hear a butt-ass naked straight out the shower, and I hear the knock. And I just panic. Because, like, it's not even like I can tuck it. I'm butt naked. Like, I have, my clothes are on the bed. I, no you don't have part. a towel? You don't have a towel in the bathroom? What am I going to do? Yeah, but wait. And also, you, you got you, a towel? You, you tuck your dick up and you tighten it. But it would have been pop. Tighten it like a belt. What the butt? <laughs> Whatever. You're already well, dead to rights. Yeah, it's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not ideal, but it's the best you got. <laughs> yeah. uh, I went, After the shower? That's what. That's exactly what Shay said. But yeah. It was like I. Just, I wasn't planning on right, anything. Right, right. It yeah. hits you. Like, yeah. It's like when you got to shit yeah, after the shower. Yeah, it's like this ain't ideal. I'll, I'll do it trick. after a shower though. I like to be clean. Oh yeah. 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 Like, touch I, I, like, I like to smell nice when I'm touching myself. Yeah. I do it in the yeah. shower because then you can just pull it off. Yeah. Yeah. That's in the shower jerking. In the shower. That's some fucking. That's a young man's game. It is. It's a young man's game. I'm gonna. I gotta be honest. I'm gonna get hurt one day. Standing up jerking off is a young man's game. What? Any kind of standing up jerking off. I like a good standing jerk. Yeah. 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 You can lose a phone. You can lose a. That is. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. You think it's propped up there in the shower? <laughs> the <plunk. laughs> and it slips. I feel like the standing shower jerk is disrespectful if you got roommates. And we all. Why? It's going down. Coming the on the, it just washes down. Man. You, yeah, piss, but you piss in the shower? Wash, wash off. It's just, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you got a hydrate. You throwing it on the wall? You, you, <laughs> <laughs> you got You're all you know, gummed it just, up. <laughs> you know, oil change. Yeah. You yeah. throw it over in the bathtub? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That, that it sticks in the legs, water, yeah, and then you just the yeah. hair up. Wait, so, you're jerking off in the tub and just resting with it? Well, I usually... <laughs> you experiment. This is a kid. young man's yeah. game. This is like yeah, when I was yeah, a kid, yeah, yeah. I was just uh, touching and jumping in water <laughs> and whatever. Yeah. So usually it was like at the end, I wouldn't like bathe in it, but it would, you know, it would get it would hit the water and then it congeals or some shit. And then once it gets like in your arm hair, fuck it. You just cut it. It's like getting gum in your hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's never gum. It, it's, it's not good. Yeah, your mom, why do you <laughs> this is gonna sound incriminating? I know this, and I, I feel like I've said this before when you were like, what the fuck? Uh, cold water gets it off. Yeah, this Cold. dude knows exactly how to wash cum off his body. How much experiment? I know how to wash fucking protein-based liquids, <laughs> which I mean eggs. Like, well, that's how you wash mm -hmm. eggs out of a yeah, pan. Yeah, right. Is you got to use cold water. Do you want to get cum out of your yes. hair? You get a little vegetable oil, <laughs> a, a spoonful of vinegar. <laughs> what about what about getting popcorn butter out of jeans? <laughs> what are we working with? I, you you know, how I, bad I is almost it? Did, I, did, I went to the movies the other day <laughs> and I got a bag of popcorn. I was just sitting there. <laughs> oh, and I it took it out, and then I did a big patch of butter. That might be, you might be done with those, bro. Really? They're I mean, fucked? That's what no, everyone's been telling not, me. No, they're probably not, but I could see, I like... Would, I would guess they're fucked. Yeah, like, it, I don't think you'll ever get it all the way out. And that's not a good location <laughs> for a permanent state. No, 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 you don't want that. You do I, I, I can't I believe that's the case. I think you're better off than me, because I, I ruin... 
If I ha I have to wear trash pants to the movies. Like before I go to the movies, <laughs> I go to the thrift store first and get a pair of pants, and then yeah. like, <laughs> like, like just, walk, walk it I out heard and trash take bag, and I <laughs> just like, <laughs> everyone else is like dumping out their trash. I'm taking my pants off, at the <laughs> <laughs> leaving them in the 3D goggles thing. Because <laughs> <laughs> I I fucking I'm so bad at. I, I always get bunch crunch to eat with my popcorn. Yes. And when you fuck it, I don't know, I miss my mouth one or two times probably when you kind of do the throw oh, in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And <laughs> I shoot like 80%. <laughs> 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 From behind me, <laughs> hitting people. And, and it just fucking, it always rolled down somewhere. And I get up and I have like four or five melted chocolate stains on my ass cheeks. <laughs> and I'm like, well, these pants are trash now. No. I've been <laughs> sitting in chocolate for How a while. You, you? <laughs> yeah. You. How have you not learned your lesson? What you going, uh, I, I learned my lessons yeah, why I go yeah. to the thrift store now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's I think it's ridiculous that we live in an age where you can't get chocolate and butter out of pants. <laughs> <laughs> Some things, it's, man. It's, it's, it's yeah. totally reasonable Some that things, you get chocolate dude. and butter on your pants. That's just I, I, I bet you you can get it out, but like there'll be a faded, you know. Really? It's like blood or wine or any of that shit. Like it's what about OxyClean? But that you they don't, get they that, specifically you avoid answer. chocolate and butter. Yeah. And you, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you never see Billy Mays being Cowards. like, get some <laughs> peanut butter out of your fucking pants. Uh, <laughs> I'm just surprised you use lotion outside the shower. I got to be honest. I, I just, I caveman it. I'm a pretty regular caveman. After I get yeah. 30, it doesn't work for me anymore. I just get tired of myself. Oh, <laughs> really? he, he just quits on me. Really? <laughs> he just quit on me mid jerk. Do you guys like the saddest? Do you go to like couples therapy with your hands? <laughs> you know, like, just the spark is gone. <laughs> when, when Dude, you... I told stories about that where like I was losing and like. Yeah. And and he was trying to be like, nah, dude, not tonight. And I was like, ah, guess what, buddy? It's not up to you. I won't fucking go to. I, I won't go to yeah. I've broken sweats, like, like yeah. sweat, sweat. Oh, that's the like, worst. Like had to go sleep on the couch because the sheets were too wet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is fucking crazy. Yo. I'll just look at porn for until I get hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is happening. This is gonna be yeah. the easy way. It's, like, it's way. like a hostage your crisis. Choice, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't go You're in there, guns are blazing. <laughs> you are raping your dick every time you yeah. do that. No, I just, I talk it back up. You know, it's like, I'm just going to stare at shit we like until <laughs> we come around. No, well, that's what's funny when you, if, like, this, this, not, when, you, when you can't get hard and there's a chick in the situation, not yourself, there's a chick involved, it's still to this day, it's always like, oh, you don't think I'm pretty or you're not turned on yeah. by me. And it's like, like, stories like that. I want to yeah. be like, Sometimes I stare at porn until the blood gets there. Yeah. Like it's just, <laughs> yes. it's not a you thing. It's not even a me thing. It's just the dick thing. We I had thought about to, suggesting that it's. We should go to genre. Oh, I uh, if I had to pick a genre, because I don't really like when you go every time you pick a genre. I just go like front page. Mm. Yeah, I go front page, but I also have like if it's not working, I need to get it. Done. Yeah, okay. Like, I gotta um, go <laughs> yeah, he's got Gianna Michaels. It's come walk. Gianna Michaels, you like the big sloppies? I the big sloppies. Big sloppies. <laughs> Those are big sloppies. Uh, the pot, the pot, my my podcast co-host that they're about to interview Sarah J today, which is breaking no. my heart. Oh. It's Missing breaking it? my. I've wanted her since we started it. <laughs> Look up a picture her. of this woman. Oh. She, <laughs> oh. If you're watching so right disgusting. now, I don't think you need to see a picture. Look up. Well, you know what Sarah J. You know, let's it's give the people it, a visual. Well. I did not know Sarah J or Gianna Michaels by name. Blew my mind. Really? <laughs> it's not yeah. Sarah, Sarah J style. Sarah J it's no, no, it's no, not a not trendy Sarah young woman. Yeah. Sarah J, she's super popular in the porn, in the in the black community. Oh right? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like black just dudes the, love Sarah J. She was the that first piece. Bro, look at that one on the third row to the right. She's covered in cum. It's just like, oh <laughs> my god. No, look at the one. Look at the one all the way to now. She's beautiful. Dude, she's the one. She's got a she's... face like a catcher's mitt. <laughs> she's got a face like she's got belt balls. When the one half is fucking dead, she got. She oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah, it's a stroke mouth. She did. It was her <laughs> and fucking, I forget the other porn part. star's name, um, her and someone else, they did the fan blow bang for the Miami Heat win. Yeah. They yeah. Had, like, oh. It was like, if you're a fan of the Miami Heat, show up, we'll suck your dicks. I was it, know it, was it, that when they won I the remember. title? Yeah. Someone like a game. I thought, was it like the actual title? I think it was the... I thought I remember being like, this isn't, you know, you no, got to save it for when they actually win. Yeah, yeah. That, no, it was they announced it before they won. 
And then... Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. I remember I saw the video. Dudes showing up in masks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it was like... Look you, at those numbers. It's like, you got to be down. Like, you have to be okay with us filming you. Look at the guy with the mask. Bros were just showing oh, up in masks. masks. <laughs> like, I'm thinking... I remember mm. jerking off to the very idea of this. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I remember seeing them tweet it and being like, that's... That rules. <laughs> would you do this? What? No, 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 no. I would never get involved would in something give like that. But for a chance, I say Jack. All right. If, if, if this, you would get down with this if you no, knew you. Okay. Maybe not this. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. She wore knee pads. <laughs> Think yeah. how many dicks she was sucking. Yeah, I mean, yo, she's on her knees for like two hours. Oh, oh, dude, hours. bro, knee pads is loose. <laughs> yeah. What are those? You know what that martini cup is for, too, don't oh, you? Yeah. I just, you know how that goes, dude. I just, nah. I just watched. They're not, they're not drinking a, you know, Woo! that's not gin. It's not a gin martini. It's not a vodka martini. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Johnny, it's a I'm cup martini. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to throw up. God damn. You're going to puke? Dude, he no, threw no, up no. at the bar. He threw up, how many, he threw up extra well, Steph he, he had a bucket full of duels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he threw yeah. up in Chris and Steph Coe's back patio. <laughs> he threw up at Kid Rock's bar last night, two nights ago. We, we just learned the story of Joe Liss sh shitting in that girl's uh, shoe. You know that story? No. Was it? Oh, I, I don't want to butcher it, but like long story, story short. To tell yeah, it. but long story short, somebody <laughs> shits in his shoe. <laughs> and, uh, we, you know, Dan, as he does, was giving us like the perfect visual. He was shit-faced and shit in his shoe. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. back before he was, yeah. he was sober. It's very hard to believe. I, 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 that's what it's was too funny accurate. about it. That's why, <laughs> yeah. why it was funny, because it was like, did he hold it underneath? Mm. Did he just shit on the floor and got lucky? Did he do it and put it in there for some did reason? Take blacked the, out. Yeah, time yeah. to untie it for yeah, a bigger like target. It. Although I will say, my like dog I used to open up my, my laptop in college and piss on it. Yeah. But that's very <laughs> toilet. toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I get. But I don't that, see how a yeah. shoe translates. My, uh, my freshman year, I had three guys in my freshman year dorm. Uh, one was like a lying alcoholic. He's like my best friend. <laughs> the first time we meet, you know, you, you, like you, I called him like a, you know, before the school started. And he was like, I'm an athlete. I'm on the track team. So like, I don't really drink much. And I was like, well, that sucks, but okay. Yeah. And uh, the first night, just blacked out. Like, <laughs> I was like, mm, so you're a pathological liar. <laughs> and the other dude was a great guy, but he was a, like, read the Bible every night. Hardcore religious. Yeah. What a wild! I mean, I guess it was going to Fordham. You it get, you get was respect, but. wild, homie. He was he was Egyptian <laughs> and cat like Christian and uh, alcoholic. Two alcoholics and a partridge in a pear tree, man. <laughs> but we were all cool. But one night, you know, like if 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 I if I was living in a room with you and you pissed on my shit, oh, I wouldn't yeah. be happy. But I'd be like, them's the breaks, you know. Yeah, or, yeah. But dumb drunk guys, like, yeah, come on. But man. you pissed all over the sober guys' shoes, uh, <laughs> shoes and clothes and everything. He went. He went into the closet and just thought it was the bathroom and just unloaded on everything. And so when you're like, I already don't do this because I think it's stupid. And then you do. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It was. It was not a good scene. Oh not, my god. Not, dude, I don't even. Yeah, if, I always you pissed, pissed on my, my own computer. <laughs> yeah. At least it was your own. You know? Yeah, yeah. I was. A, I was a bad guy. We've been over that. Mm -hmm. The. Uh, <laughs> but I. I. I don't think if you pissed on my clothes, I don't even think I'd ask you to be the one to clean them. Like, I, I just do I, it. I would be like, yeah. oh, I'd be like, I'd be like, I'd be like I get it, man. Yeah, like, yeah. fucking. What are y'all doing, man? Like, don't, yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I, I black out. Like, that's what my brain just turns off early. But I always, I feel like, at least to the best of my knowledge, you can figure out a toilet. Yo, that's the thing. You either, I think, yeah. I'm not a pisser. Like, yeah. I, I will puke if I drink too much. Uh, yeah. I will certainly do and say stupid things, but I'm just not a pisser. I either go to bed before or my body knows how to handle it till. Yeah. It's either like a, you know, you are or you're not, I think. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's very, um, like, people who do it, like, oh, I've done it a couple times. I feel like you either do it or not at all. I don't, yeah, I don't get yeah. up and do it. I just fuck it. I'm out. Yeah, What's you're up? down. I, like, I don't get up and pee in a weird place. Oh, you just, just on, on the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I can... Where it's yeah. <laughs> I can pee in some weird places. <laughs> <laughs> where, where's where's where the weirdest? Yeah. Oh, I, I just, like, I always... Piss on electronics. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, I always, I, everything, yeah, every, every time, I, every time I've wandered around and pissed on something, it's like I've been in like an Xbox <laughs> or a That's laptop. Literally yo, the worst you, habits I have. Yo, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, piss on anything. Yours, like, I, I only piss on expensive electronics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, like, like the Avengers, we're just like we're coming to town and we're fucking ruining the. Dude, <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> Dell built laptops 
in in the uh, in the early. I remember aughts. those. They're like yes. yeah. And they had, I swear to God, they had like piss protection. Because <laughs> those were like, at least for me, those were like the college issued. I pissed like, you, on you could buy so a laptop times, through Fordham, yeah. and they, that was exactly what came. It was the Dell laptop Dude. that I think was built Bro. to like be on a construction site. I like, site. I like, like how the word the word you're looking for is waterproof, yeah. and you went with no, 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 no. It's not. No, no, it's protector. not waterproof. It's more of like a Goodyear ring. <laughs> like, like, like it wicks off. Like, like, yes, like, yes. Like, like, there was it something just under the keyboard that funneled the. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? To the you point had where on the side of your laptop. <laughs> to the point where I hadn't I hadn't gotten a laptop wet in years, and uh, I was I, I was I went out on a date with this girl, and uh, that's the one right there. By the way, what, uh, middle, yes, top row, like middle. It had like a bluish kind of. Yeah, it was. Yeah. it was more blue, but it was like. Uh, I swear to God, this thing. I I pissed on it so many times and it never <laughs> had a problem. Like it <laughs> never <laughs> broke. What do you mean so many times? <laughs> what, 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 at so least many five. Times. At least five. Yes. <laughs> in like the course of uh, like in, all of college, of course, like my a year. freshman year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, but so so I was so convinced that like every computer had this type of protection. <laughs> so, I love I love the, the thinking of the people at Dell being like, all right, for the extra, you know, forty nine ninety nine, do you want to the extended warranty? We also got the piss protection. <laughs> yeah. 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 The virus <laughs> protection, the piss protection. Wait, yeah. Your son's going to college. Going to yeah. 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 <laughs> You're gonna want How the trip. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so I like I hadn't seen a computer get wet in forever, and uh, I I went on a date with this girl. I went home with her. Uh, and we started hooking up. I her computer was on the table, and she had gotten me a glass of water and put it down. I like. Oh, you were gonna I, say you pissed on it? No. So we're hooking. No, yo, we're hooking up. I pull her pants off. I go down on her. She moves her leg to put her leg like around my shoulder and kicks the water over and spills on the laptop. Yeah. And I was like, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, you're gonna be so fine. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, but she immediately like rushed over and uh, was trying to drain it out. <laughs> Computer fully broke. Yeah. <laughs> then she blamed me. That's crazy. Yeah, it's that's like, no, no, I'm eating you out. Yeah. <laughs> your legs are swinging around. Wait, you got to control your shit. <laughs> yeah, that's not my fault. You kicked the glass. <laughs> and that, maybe that means you were just eating that box so good, though. She, she that will, might be a compliment. That, yeah. That's an all-time... Uh, that's like one of the uh, a fun, like, sure. reversal situations. Like, yeah. Imagine you kick a water over my kidney dick suck. What <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you doing that for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't cut my balls like that. <laughs> Give me a warning shot. Yeah. <laughs> Is he here now? Yeah, he's getting mic'd out. Okay, cool. Uh, We're going to uh, have uh, Brandon right, Gilbert right, on the show in a minute, to... too. Yeah. Uh, um, what, what's I've what, been what, snoring what? lately. Yeah. Oh, Drexel. Oh, you're snoring lately? You're just, you're just a Philly dirtball. No, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've been hooking up with this girl, and I've every morning I wake up, and she's, like, in another room on the couch. Yeah. And I'm like, what happened? She's like, you're snoring. I'm like, I don't snore. Dude, how are you uh, just telling yes, you? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take her word for it on this one. Yeah. But how are you just starting snoring? I, you know what happened to me, too? I just, I don't I, know. I'm a late-life snorer. You were just getting into the game? I think because I now sleep on my back. I yes, fucking, I've been sleeping on my back. Bro, you don't know I, snoring I until love, you met the I love when guy. fucking no, people so start snoring, know, dude. You met Beezer or Lemire? <laughs> no. Oh, Brantley, yeah. what's up, man? They're going to be sleeping in bunk beds <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what's going on, bro? Good to see you. Nice to see you. What's the word, man? How's it going, buddy? You want to put you on the couch over here? Oh, you want to grab that? You want to grab that chair? How you doing, I'm good wherever. We can go Brantley there. I'll go over over here, I'm, doesn't matter to me. Grab that. I'll sit over there. Damn, Brantley, what are you wearing, bro? You smell good, dude. Yeah, right, man, I appreciate that, dog. You know, I'm, I'm a smoker, so uh, gotta, I didn't want to come in here that. smelling like yeah, that. You know, I just got me a little. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. My wife got me some Tom Ford. Uh, oh, oh Ford. there he is. Classy. That's, a, that's the only Tom Ford thing I own. But yeah. uh, we got a couple glasses of whiskey going around. If you want some, no pressure either way. If you want it, but well, here's the thing, man. About uh, December 18th was 10 years. I okay. found out I was allergic to alcohol. No shit. Yeah, I break out in handcuffs. This is a big. <laughs> <thing. laughs> I don't realize something was coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but dude, I I knew someone in college, a girl who was allergic to alcohol, and she was like, I actually never understood it. She said she was allergic to barley and wheat, 
And she's like, so I can only drink beer. And I was like, I don't think you That's, listened to the doctor that You're drinking the wrong thing. She's like, I can't drink a stuff. Like, I, can only, I was like, I think they might have said that's the one thing you can't drink. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think she's still doing okay. I don't know. I haven't talked to her in a while. <laughs> <laughs> hope she's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh, in a town like this, though, man, that's... That's not easy, though. I mean, it's, the, it's a good town to do some drinking in. Yeah, man, I, I tell you, it kind of, it's one of those things where I've got a full bar in the doghouse. We call it a doghouse. Like it that? A, it was a COVID project. We built, like, this big man cage slash showroom, mm -hmm. rehearsal hall, the whole nine. Um, and I wanted to put a, a full bar in it, and I, I see you got some whistle pig. Mm -hmm. yeah. Only the <laughs> finest. Only the finest. Stock it with some good sh stuff, and, and uh, you can say whatever you, you want. You can say whatever, <laughs> can say whatever the fuck you want. Some good, good stuff. Good. We were just talking about pissing on computers yeah. a second ago. You can talk about whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, I want to get into that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's what my allergies produce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so man, I, I rotated over. Now let's just. Say that uh, I'm, I'm a Willie Nelson fan. Yeah, ah, you know it, what I mean. It. That is that's something else. I, I I picked that up later in life too. Like as a kid, whatever at parties, smoking and shit. But uh, like uh, use it to sleep, use it to like <laughs> unwind, relax. It's like it's a good. It, it, it's something you everybody should pick up. Feel like <laughs> it's it's a good habit to have. I believe. But I have not been arrested one time. Not gonna get arrested oh, on weed, yeah. man. You know what I mean? That's like, always life. good. Actually, no, no, nothing helps defuse being... a crisis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just makes it non-existent. <laughs> yeah. you know I've I, I been arrested one time since I became an adult. That's pretty good. All my shit's expunged. Yeah, you, you were you were a, a young a young pup getting arrested. Wait, that was a lie. I did one time, but I was sober that time. Well, when'd you get arrested sober? Tom Brady, baby. Oh, that doesn't I, count. I handcuffed myself at NFL headquarters to protest Tom Brady's suspension during the flake gate. He's such, a, <laughs> he's such an asshole. <laughs> well, you know what? That's though, let's, let's tell that story, too. <laughs> so it's, it's him. We'll pull up a picture of, of, uh, of these the four guys. They call themselves the Brady Four. It was during the flake gate. You know, obviously, he got hosed. Oh, this <laughs> but, so listen. The boys! So, see that guy? Uh, the guy in the middle there. Uh, not all the way to the right, but that guy right there with his hand, holding the hands up. Yeah. So they're, they go to jail for like a couple hours we thought we were gonna go for a couple hours we thought we we thought we went in right we thought we're like this is gonna be easy like they'll fucking let us go like it's kind of, it's a joke like it was yeah. all fun and games kind of deal they take things seriously at the NYPD. <laughs> 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 and so they're like, they're like, hey, you guys got arrested too late. Like, we're not gonna get you to be able to see a judge tonight. Yeah. So you're spending the night here. And we were like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This joke is not funny anymore. <laughs> no, no. So no. All right, so the next day they're like, there. the Brady Four are dead. <laughs> <laughs> the cameras were off, the guards went for a walk. <laughs> we don't know what happened, yeah. <laughs> the, the one guy, no, I mean they were there for a while but i think like an hour in all of a sudden we they just heard like a little tink tink hitting the the the, the we, steel, no, I, steel I heard bowl. a fucking fart bounce they off the a metal fart. toilet bowl hey, one of our, he, they were in jail for an hour he took a shit <laughs> dude i mean another, at some like point another, yo, you got comfortable quick <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, 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 what was that, what was that, what was that diaper boy <laughs> shit <laughs> Hey, the, the hand prints yeah. and you're like, uh. <laughs> What was the nickname of the other dude in with Diaper Boy? Yo, so there was this other dude who, when we were in the holding cell beforehand, and he was like, he was in the corner, like, like where, where's the corner? He's in the corner, like, just like, kind of like, almost like a, a zombie in a zombie movie who can't turn around, so he just kind of keeps bouncing into the wall. <laughs> and we were like, we, he, while we were getting booked, he he was in there, <laughs> he was in there all alone by himself. <laughs> and so it was almost like, like we didn't want to get booked. <laughs> like, like, don't fucking process us. Like, I don't want to get in that room with that guy. Right, right. And he's just like kind of bouncing <laughs> us. And, and so Gaz is the first one to go in. Gaz had eyes like the goat being lowered into Jurassic Park. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, oh, this thing's going to fucking eat me. <laughs> 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 and, and so we all get in there. He's fine. 
But then that night, the, the, the guards kept kind of shifting us around because they knew we were just idiots and the other people getting arrested were criminals. Yeah. And so they kept shifting us around trying to keep us safe, like, together. White and, privilege, uh, man. White privilege, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and, and then at night, we're trying to sleep, and we just hear in the cell next to us, this dude just going... I'm the diaper boy. I'm covered in rashes. <laughs> and like you just said it all night for hours. And we're sitting there trying to sleep, and we're just like, what the fuck is this dude That's deal? not okay. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, that was the one who called out Hank, right? And then, no, who no, was the, no, Who was no. the guy who was like, are you taking a shit? That was, that was just some, some random, random dude. Some random dude at the end of the hallway. <laughs> well, yeah, what do you say back? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 being wipe. <laughs> yeah. I mean... If you can't mm. make it an hour in jail <laughs> before you're shitting. I'll tell you what, I made it until I got out. I, that's what I mean. Like, I, it may, Or maybe Hank was just like, I don't know how long we're going to be here, so I might as well just get this over with now. <laughs> I, but he was, what, like 20? He, he, like, he was probably... He was a pup. I mean, it was, what, six, seven years ago? He's probably like 20, 21. Yeah, so he's, like, he's barely out of the company. We got him in jail shitting in the toilet. <laughs> crazy, he had to get comfortable and figure out how long you can hold it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't a whole lot more awkward than, than a jail shitter. Nah. <laughs> I don't know the experience, but I would imagine it's jail like, shitter. It's, it's worse for me or you, I don't know, but you seem fine, so I'm going to say it's worse for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... Uh, we're we're kind of getting accustomed to Nashville for the first time, really. Have you been here before? Me? Yeah. Yeah, bro. I've been yeah, here a bunch of times. times. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. I used to be here in college all the time. This is my first time here. Y'all keep this a secret. Nashville's nice. <laughs> 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 I never knew that Nashville was this dope. <laughs> it is. It is. It's also really strange when you see like dudes in like cowboy outfits that are dressed way nicer than you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're like, whole, it's a whole, full on crazy. cowboy, and it's like that. Mu that's that must cost a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that is <laughs> like. Dude, did you have you walked? Does he own like, Wall Street <laughs> as a cowboy? Yeah. Have you walked? Into any of the stores? No. The stores on Broadway we walked oh, in, it was man. like, you want a pair of boots? A thousand dollars. Yeah, we learned real quick. I'm all sad. <laughs> boots and hats and, and some of that shit, man. What what do you think the value of your cowboy boots and hats are? Man, I don't have a cowboy hat. I always tell folks, you know, just because I'm in country music, I guess there's you know, a lot of folks want to I just wear a ball cap. Mm. Yeah. And there is kind of two different Vibes, I feel like. Yeah, well, I, mean, I don't There's... wear a cowboy hat because I'm not a fucking cowboy. cowboy. You know what <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? like, to me, that feels like fucking cultural appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not, you're not like in a rodeo and you're not a yeah. fucking um, horseman sorry. or some uh, shit. Uh, you know, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know what we're talking about. When it comes to, we know the lingo, Brantley. <laughs> I am not a like, horseman. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to wear that. That's what I'm telling motherfuckers from now on, dude. You yeah, got a cowboy hat? Fuck no, I'm not. A horseman. <laughs> you fuck right off of me, man. That's awesome. Yeah, that is fucking funny. What about boots? Do you do the boots? Yep, man. I, these the regular wings. boots. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like no George regular boot. person, man. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of bored on that side of stuff. No, yeah. I think it's a it's a real identity. <laughs> As opposed to a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> You're like walking around like shooting six guns. Yeah. <laughs> it is weird though, man. Cause I get ready to pack on the road, or I don't really pack anymore. All my stuff pretty much stays on the bus, you know. And I mean, my wife will tell you what I wear. On stage is what I wear, wear home. around the house, mm -hmm. and you know it's uh. So you just living out of the bus though, right now? No, we we um. I got a house and shit. No, but you said. <laughs> 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 He's like, we got a right now. <laughs> Shit ain't that bad, bro. Yeah. Funny, I don't know if you've seen tour bus. I mean, no COVID was a bitch. Yeah. I sell out arenas everywhere, but I don't have a house. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean, you're on tour right now on the bus, is what you said? We are. We're up in town for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been just kind of finishing up a record and mm -hmm. kind of grinding out to stay busy. I know I was going to get to hang out with y'all, so we came a day early and, Appreciate and that, got man. up with my boy okay. Jelly Roll and... A little work he, done. He's had himself quite the uh, the come up, Jelly Roll. Yeah, dude. It's awesome. That's a great story, dude. I'll tell you what. What I love about the dude, I have a lot of respect for somebody, you know, anywhere, but especially in the business we're in, that's the same dude every time, and it's the dude he says he is. I don't know, off camera or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Oddly enough, we have that too in a very different way. I feel like. What's that? Like we, when you know a comic or a, one of the bloggers or somebody who's like totally different on yeah, camera yeah, versus yeah, yeah. not. It's like. Oh, uh, I thought you were saying people are like you are exactly who you are on and off camera, yeah. but everyone wishes you would change. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That, 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 he's exactly who he says he is, he and sucks. it's terrible. Sucks. <laughs> 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 it's motherfucker. Bro, the people who were in charge of us on camera wish we were different. The people who were in charge of us off camera wish we were different. <laughs> That's very you true. are the same person. Both aren't great for what you want to do. <laughs> Honestly, that is a great point. That's why we just get fucked, man. <laughs> Nobody likes us. Yeah, because we're bad people. Yeah. I guess not bad right. people. Not, not, not good. That, we're definitely not bad people. I'm not trying to. Well, we ain't good either. I'm just <laughs> somewhere the worst. between that one, man. <laughs> what do you What do you think you about can't the bachelor? Too bad, bro. <laughs> not them slippers, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're whistle These are whistle big. Yeah. These what? are the nicest whistle big. Look at that. Mm. So, so what's the what's the big thing about like we got it at the He's bar. Gotta I love those bags. Like, the I say I love the stuff. I found out, man. Is, so where I live, I still live in Georgia, you know. And uh, I, oh, yeah, we yeah. put the bar in the house, and I figured out like if you got bottles of Fireball and shit, like people just grab it and they get ripped. But if you keep like <laughs> pretty nice bourbon around. Like, all my redneck buddies are like, mm, I wonder what this, you know, they're sitting yeah. with this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not cleaning up after my parking yeah. yeah. shit. Well, it's, they went with rye instead of bourbon, so they made a bet a long time ago, uh, not to get boring with it, but when back in the day, like, original cocktail making with uh, with whiskey was always rye, old fashions and right. that stuff. So they, they bet on rye and, you know, farmed all the rye fucking in the world in Vermont. Uh, and hoping that would like catch on with the public, and it did. Everyone wanted ride now, so they've been a good sponsor of our show. They they, they put up this house and everything, so we're doing uh, some stuff for them. But it is it, for you know, it's affordable, but still fucking. Mm. And that it is nicer than the, the fire, you know, fireball and shit like that. I yeah, can't do it anymore. Like, I did it right? dude, like I was saying. I, I used to come to Nashville a lot when I was in college, and I believe fireball started here. And I, yeah. I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think they like Vanderbilt. It sounds like it was Vanderbilt was one of the first schools it came to. I think I think if I'm not mistaken, they did Fireball almost like Facebook did, where it was like we'll give it to the small schools, and, and then like the big ones like we want it, we want yeah. it. So they had it in like smaller school towns, and I would drink a fucking lot of Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> like, I missed dude, it, Fireball man. was a it was a mo like it was a revolution. Yeah. Like in drinking, you know, like I remember growing up, like there are certain drinks that like come out almost like, yeah. and when Fireball became a thing, cause it was perfect. Cause it was like, you still feel like you're doing a shot of whiskey so you can feel tough or whatever, but it's like a little bit tastier and softer. Girls are doing it. Guys who don't drink a lot can do it. So everybody wins, you know, Yeah. but it was, but then once you drink too much of it or have too many hangovers. Now it's too serious. Dude, if, I've, way if, too I've, thick. if I've one of those, this, I have an actual allergic reaction to, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking around. No, it might be. My body is some fucking deep Irish thing. What happens? My body can't process red dyes with alcohol <laughs> oh. in my system. <laughs> what? Yes. What the fuck? Does I know mean? this is crazy. I know this is Did crazy. Did the doctor tell you this? Or you make this up. No, no. So you made this up. I would take, you know, because I would take fireball shots and shit in college, and my skin, I'd get hot and just get beat red. Yeah. And I'd be like, well, this just is whatever that happens. Yeah. 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 But then I was, I was down in New Orleans. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I guess yeah. this is how my yeah, 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 yeah. Is something. Sometimes that happens, you know what I mean? I must have ate something weird. So, so then I was down in New Orleans, and I had a hurricane, and my mom was there, and I had a hurricane full of red dye. My whole skin's just crazy. And she's looking at, she looks at me, she goes, what the, what the hell is happening? And I'm like, what? This just happens. Do you guys have a you like, drink, Bob? No. It's just what Fireball does. Yeah. It's just like a nurse, so she, like, just dug into this forever and found this is one weird dying, genetic uncle. thing, yeah. It's like, <laughs> so if that's happening that's... to you out there, <laughs> well, well, I don't know the about more that. You know, Star. Comes <laughs> yeah. over. I don't know about red dye, but mm. when when there was that craze, probably like 2000, like late 2000s, early 2010s, of flavored vodkas, like every fucking flavor from it started out with like orange, and then it ended up with like birthday cake. Yeah, birthday cake, <laughs> whipped, whipped yeah. cream, and I loved all of it, man. I would drink all of it, whatever. But it was cheap and shitty, and I just remember I would uh, I would start to get like really flush. And then I would get this weird taste in the back of my mouth. And next thing you know, my throat would close up. Like, a little bit. I, I, but it wasn't like I couldn't breathe, breathe. So I would just keep doing it. You know, I would just keep like fucking doing it. Killed me, yeah. I was so. just like, you know, do you want a shot of whipped cream vodka? I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> and, then, and then people would be like, look, what's wrong? I'm like, yeah, you know, just another round, <laughs> my good <laughs> <man."> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I 
clean breathe. Like, like, I could still breathe, but it was like, like I was breathing through a straw kind of deal. <laughs> it was like, it was like I, I would lose, I'd have to, I'd like get enough in me. You know? So eventually I just stopped fucking doing that. But. Well, it's so funny when you're 25, you're like, I'm like just fucked up, I guess. <laughs> I'm so fucked up, my body's rejecting Nothing. itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing medical's happening. I'm ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> what do you the think the about fireball thing, so that's so when I quit it was in 2011, right? And that was before that whole craze, but I'm glad I missed that shit. Cause yeah. I'm, I have not had very good experiences around it. Yeah. 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 You know, and it's as disgusting. a sober guy, I have to use the term sobriety loosely. You know, the recovery community looks they get mad. down yeah. upon uh, Willie Nelson. It's, it's discrimination. But anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I missed that whole craze of being. Being the highest dude at the bar with all your drunk friends, it never turns out well with Fireball in the mix. Mm -hmm. And it went, you know, like I said, I, I just missed that craze, but I remember the flavor of vodka thing. My thing is I just didn't have a cutoff switch, you know? Yeah, just yeah. kept going. And you get to a certain age. I was 26 years old, man, and I was still just doing the same shit. Mm -hmm. and I still yeah. don't have a cutoff switch unless I'm <laughs> driving. Unless I know I got to drive, my cutoff switch doesn't. <laughs> but you also Uber was awful for Nate. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, they can pick you up anyway? <laughs> God. God. I don't have much time left. <laughs> But you're also, I would imagine, <laughs> I, you're not like gonna pick a fight or do some dumb shit. You're not one of those drunks. No. Not anymore. I had okay. it with me. I was actually the last, one of the last times I almost had when I was with Gillis and Tommy. We were at, did something together, and just some dude like cut in front of me at the bar, and I just turned to him and was like, "Pussy." <laughs> 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 And then they pulled me just back like, yo, chill. Like, this is going to get us all in something. Yeah, yeah. This, this was a long, that was like in 2000. He's just ordering a drink. Yeah. 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 He's, just, he's just trying to get a beer. Yeah, just, right. right. Yeah, Excuse you. I think, I think he got too, probably, probably he got too close to the like, chick I was talking to, and that's probably really what it was. Yep. Just, yep. Yep. Yeah, he talking to. <laughs> There's a girl at the other end of the bar. You're like, that's my girl. <laughs> that's my woman. <laughs> That's my wife's <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> we going home and we getting married. <laughs> uh, we were watching um, the the video from uh, kind of like one of your your writing trips. Where you, you guys go and you do the, the, the writing the retreat, the one yeah. party, the writing yeah. retreat. That's what it is. That's it's a little different than most folks. Yeah, yeah those were like the most right. fun ever. You got, I mean, obviously the drinking. You were at karaoke, I think. You were fishing. You went boar hunting. Those oh, yeah. things, like, how, how long do those go for, like, the writer's retreats? We usually go for a week or two. week or two? Oh, hey, man. Until the uh, songs are done, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You need about written. a week or two to kind of dodge the hangovers and everything. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. you write, probably write a week's worth and, you know, a week and a half, two weeks. But, dude, the crowd we take down there is a bunch of fun. And every year, you know, there's a, a couple new folks. And, you know, most of the time there's somebody that's never been up in a helicopter and... Shot and out of yeah. it, or both, you know. Yeah, that's, that's probably that's a pretty, pretty small select few. It's like Navy yeah. SEALs and Brent <laughs> Gilbert's <laughs> friends. <Yeah. laughs> like, we had Teddy Swims. Teddy Swims was supposed to come up this year, and everybody gets there, you know, and, you know, Brock Berry Hill's there. We got uh, Hunter Phelps and Hardy, and, mm. you know, all these guys are hopping off the butt, and nobody's seen Teddy. And to this day, he called me, you know, and told me what was up. But to this day, I think he got a little bit nervous about Coming to Texas for a bunch of rowdy ass rednecks with guns. Bro, I'm <laughs> guitars, you know what I mean? It's just bad, Oh my god. You don't wanna get you don't wanna get up in the chopper? <laughs> End up like Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> Dangling from a chopper. <laughs> the red red Scarface. No, you'd be fine, dude. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> just gotta get that out there. <laughs> no, you'd be totally cool. <laughs> dude, with the night vision, there was one where like I think you call it bore at night. Yeah. You used to do with the night vision. Yeah. That shit's that like like I, I think the night vision even more than out of the chopper is like Navy SEAL shit. Mm -hmm. Oh right. dude, well we run thermals, so thermals uh, it is. we'll <laughs> run MVGs, you know, <laughs> yeah, to of course, find stuff and like whoever's driving the truck or whatever. Uh, I always bring my goggles up, so we run MVGs just to drive by, you know, and then you have a thermal, you know, a guy that's out spotting and she spot them, you get where the wind's right and you sneak up on them and just 
Fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> they need to do that Fuck with some of the up. bachelorette parties. <laughs> Couple dudes in a pickup truck. Dude with a thermal. It, it, it feels like it shouldn't be legal. Yeah. It's like doing when you're hog hunting and stuff and you look down, I mean, and you're flying over, like, people's houses and shit. <laughs> yeah. That's it. With, like, an AR with a can on it. You know, and it's like, this probably shouldn't be all right. <laughs> like, you misfired somebody just cooking eggs in the kitchen. You know what I mean? <laughs> Freaking snipe from above. <laughs> God, I shot I shot guns for the first time this past like I don't know, man, two months ago at a bachelor party and we went uh sporting clays. And I went over uh, the whole day. This was so funny. No. I missed. I missed every single I, shot. I, I, I laugh. It was fully, <laughs> full well knowing you know I would go over it too. So I can laugh at it because it would be me too. But he, yeah, this video right here. He goes, bad day to be a clay. And he just missed everything. <laughs> <laughs> every time you just watch the clay go, whoop, and then down. Whoop, and then down. <laughs> <laughs> in your defense, it looks like it's 600 yards away. It, it, it was like 20, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it does seem to be like it feels like something. Uh, you got to get the barrel up quicker than that, no? <laughs> oh, is that what it was, Greg? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you idiot. Dude, it, it does. I, I, feel I go. Like... I shoot clays. Or I shoot clays a decent amount. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got he might be in the you know, mid he talk, like Western Pennsylvania being because I was doing the same thing, just whipping it. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta bring it up a little bit before it gets launched. <laughs> but that, but that's I, was, I, really was, I started doing it like video game style. Like that. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I was with dudes who were like, like really Pull. good, really good like shooters. Yeah. And they were like trying to see who could keep the gun down as long as it could, and then get up there. And I was like, all right, I'll fucking play with them. And <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, and it, I went over the whole thing. It, they probably like, fucked with your sights too. Yeah. Oh, bro, I never looked down the barrel once. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was just fucking spraying. <laughs> that's the best part of the whole story. He didn't hit one, but he wasn't fucking trying to hit one. <laughs> <laughs> that's what looked cool. <laughs> you had the best time of all. <laughs> this day and age, we can correct this. Yeah, we, go, we can edit it. Yeah, that's what we got after effects. Them, right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why people think that like they're gonna grab a gun and know exactly what they're doing. Like, of course you gotta learn to where to fucking put it. Cause why would you know that? Why would people like us know that at least? Uh, yeah, you probably that, grow up with it in your hand. Me and you were like, yeah. Uh, that is honestly the scariest part. Like, is. Like, when I would be walking around the range, not at, like, the post or whatever. Because there's just so many little things where it's like, you, like, you'd pull the gun down or just move it in some way. And you'd be like, don't do that. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fucking idiot. You keep it on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you? You'd be like, oh, I don't know. I wasn't even, you know? Probably because most of the dudes there have probably been in a situation where somebody did some dumb shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, There's probably some first cut, timer out know. there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. only time I ever shot in, a, in like, a, a gun range, um, was with a, like a bachelor party, so it was a bunch of dudes, and like one of my dopey friends just consistently would, you know, oh. down range, down range. You know, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Like two minutes later, just like, so when are we going? You know, <laughs> well, because you do, stop. please stop, man. You do do a thing in your head where you're like, it's not loaded. Yeah, and you'll relax. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, yeah you'll, exactly. And then, yeah. but obviously, you're not supposed to operate that way with everyone right. around you. Right. So you just you make one move, and everyone's like, "What the? Fuck? <laughs> you're like, I'm sorry." Dude, I did that. It's, I feel like gun ranges are kind of like golf courses, where like there are all these unwritten rules that like a knob yeah. doesn't really know. Yeah, absolutely. And when drive I was, the cart under the green. <laughs> Dude, I was like, of I, was like I was like seven years old. I was crazy young. We were at the Greenbrier in West Virginia. And it's like it's really nice golf course. There is some, one pro tour, one, the one pro tour stops there. And uh, my aunt took me out golfing, and it was, and she let me, a seven year old, drive the car, and I fucking parked that thing right on the green, <laughs> yeah. like rolled my ball. And then from like, it was almost like an alarm went off on the course, and then like old men from holes away came yeah. running like, with their clubs up, like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 
Do not fuck with an old man's I greed, never, man. I never yeah. moved. I just sat there. I was like, what the hell are these guys so mad about? <laughs> Coming over to fucking hill like brave. Yeah. 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 In, <laughs> in droves. Did your aunt get kicked out of the club? <laughs> no, we were, just, we were staying in the hotel. Oh, uh, it was just a dirt ball for a day. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they let us. I don't think they let us finish the round though. I think, they, I think yeah. the marshal was like, "You guys seem like you're good." <laughs> yeah, you're probably right, marshal. <laughs> 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 Uh, so you got the new new track with Jason Aldean, right? Yeah, man. Uh, Rolex, Rolex on a redneck, right? Yes, sir. That's a great fucking title. Thank you, man. That is a great title. I like that one. Uh, is he someone you worked with before, or is this? Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, he's got a, a pretty long history. So he cut a song uh, called "The Best of Me" off my first, like my first record ever. Mm -hmm. uh, he cut "My Kind of Party" was off that record too. Um, and then he cut a song that Colt Ford and I wrote together called Dirt Road Anthem. And mm -hmm. um, man, he's he's been extremely good to me through the years. Like uh, I can't say enough about him. He's he's a Georgia boy. You know, yeah, so yeah. We, <laughs> we get together. along. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, he's always man. He's he's always done right by me and been cool with me. And uh, he and his wife Brittany, they've been super cool to Amber. And you know, we've I've known him through the years. And man, you know, it's kind of one of those things where. You know, as I was really getting into writing stuff, he was on the radio, and he was one of the guys I was hearing. That was like a familiar accent. What he was doing, you know, but also we we all in the southeast. A lot of us ran the same circuit. Like I remember going in bars and seeing like Luke Bryan's like flyer for his show that looked like mm -hmm. his senior picture. Like you know what I'm saying? Like this was way, way, way. Look at the senior picture. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and Al Dean started kicking it on radio, man. And I remember listening to him and like, all right, now I can fuck with that. You know? Yeah. Um, He's one of the first uh, country acts to do Fenway, I think. Al Dean. Oh, uh, really? I think I, I, I could be mistaken. I think so. I think I'm trying to think of who's done it. I'm from Boston or from the Boston area, and uh, I think I, I know I've seen him there. I've seen Zach Brown there, but I don't I don't think there have been too many others who come through. Yeah. Oh, we, we've been to Boston. I don't remember exactly where we played there. I got some biker buddies in Boston. Yeah. I got biker buddies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, it looks like you slide in there. Fit, fit yeah. well. <laughs> it looks like you played the part. You got a cut? Yeah. What, what's that? You got a cut? Yeah. 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 It, don't, <laughs> it don't come out of the closet much anymore. It kind of, you know, it hangs out in what, there. What's the name of the, the club? Oh, that's, man, that's a conversation for another day. <laughs> that's a no-campers no, uh, combo. Yeah, yeah. It's the kind of club you guys are riding, like, Ducatis and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, that ain't us. That's the other guys. That's the other guys. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't, man, I rode, like, a crotch, we call it crotch rocket. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Or fucking just a mobile, like, casket. But Yeah, I was going to say, those got to be the most fucking, day. even if you know how to ride, that is... Those are insane. <laughs> both times, both, two, that I got on one by myself and went and got stretched out. I was on a back road in Georgia that I'll never forget. A buddy of mine had a high boost or whatever, and I got on it, and, and man, just turned back on it. And I was on this back road in my hometown like I knew it like the back of my hand, but I also knew that the, the curves were coming up a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't normal. I looked down, and it was like 140 mile an hour, and I was Holy like, no, we went back and parked shit. it. No the second way. time... A, a couple of buddies of mine, I mean, we bought one that had been wrecked, and we were going to reskin it, you know, and kind of fix it up and stuff. And, man, on the way back from where we bought it to the shop we were working on it, it was like maybe a half mile. And I wrecked it. <laughs> like, one tire went flat, just threw me off in some old man's pasture. Like, oh, no. Bike chasing. I was like, fuck these things, man. <laughs> someone, so I die. forget, I saw someone saying that it was a comedian. Where they were saying something, something to that effect of like, you know, a, a big stress in my life is wondering how I'm going to die one day. And that's why I think it's nice to be a Ducati rider because you know, you know absolutely. How you're it's just a matter of when. Yeah. It's yeah. not a matter of how. It's just a matter of when. Yeah, yeah. I can relate. I, I will say, man, having kids it changed. changed the, yeah. I mean, everything. Yeah, that was a game changer for me. 
Um, it's like, what's the point of fucking risking it? You know what I mean? To look well, cool or to feel the rush or whatever your reason may be is <laughs> yeah, not really I mean, better on, than... that's who gives a shit about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Who gives a shit about looking cool and feeling the rush? <laughs> certainly a <laughs> 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 Who cares about looking cool? <laughs> I mean, no. I'm it don't matter, man. There's <laughs> 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 some eight hanging in there. Just straight up rolling up on the scene like that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I roll well, you said I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> See, the I ain't scared means you know something's going to happen, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll be all right. <laughs> I'll bring some friends with me. <laughs> we may not be on skate, but we'll get the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. we'll survive. We'll survive. But no, man, I tell you, like, having kids. So before, honestly, they tell you, like, you know, it's not so much about what you're doing as everybody else. Mm -hmm. And it is true, like, people can be kind of blind to motorcycles, especially mm -hmm. when yeah, they're yeah. really loud, you know? Yeah. yeah. So uh, I like to say that I, I was an offensive driver. You know, they send you to defensive driving school, but on a motorcycle, like, I figured out if I was faster than most everybody else, that was the one way that I kind of stayed. The safest out of way. <laughs> I've always said the safest way to ride a motorcycle is the fastest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it, se it seems crazy, but man, if if you know that adrenaline's kicking and I'm moving pretty good and I'm weaving in and out, uh, for whatever reason, I had less problems when I was trying to go to the speed mm -hmm. limit and stick there where everybody else. Right, but I will right, say, right. Like, yeah, ride with a group of dudes. You know, there's ten or more bikes with you, or five or more bikes. You're making enough noise and yeah. you're visible enough. You know, usually you're in a better situation, riding by yourself. But yeah, uh, when you got that many too, it's you got the intimidation factor. Yeah, nobody's People like, I don't want to fucking piss off one of those guys. Right, <laughs> yeah, right. There's Let alone not five others. Of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this shit can go back quick. <laughs> but yeah, man. It was uh, back in the cotties, what, They're dude. like, let me see if we can back clip one of these in guys. York, yeah. in, in New York, this is probably five years ago or six years ago or so. I I made the mistake of pissing off cyclists. Not motorcyclists. I'm talking the bike B bicyclists. Uh, and those motherfuckers are lunatics. Yeah. You, the, <laughs> Yo, listen. You, you, way to make New Yorkers you know, sound like the biggest bunch of pussies. They're <laughs> 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 like, dude, dude, no, we ran into some guys. You don't realize, man. Tight, 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 I was just spandex wearing little motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And then they get off the bike, and it's like you you forget. They start clacking. You mess with a man on the bike. On the You on the bike, and you're pretty nervous about that dude, right? Yeah. He's got all the tattoos. He's mean looking. But what you, know, what you forget about the dude on the bike is they're out like. Because they're healthy. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 spandex wrapped around like 250 pounds worth of fuck you up. And it's like a mistake. But this is funny. So my right-hand man, Steve Tusman, has been with me since 2006. And there's a road. He lived in Athens when I met him. I lived in Jefferson. And there's a road, Jefferson River Road, in between Athens and Jefferson. And they used to, for whatever reason, it was a dirt road in the beginning. When they paved it, all of the cyclists from Athens, you know, it's college town, decided yeah. that was their new road. It pissed me off because I lived on it. And, and you know, they get out there riding two, four wide. And uh, this is back when I was drinking, too. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous, dangerous Every time, time to be a college cycler. These are my fucking riding back roads, drink beer roads. <laughs> and now, like, y'all are a liability. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What, what I would pay to hear you yell in your accent, <laughs> hey, buddy, this is a drinking road. <laughs> 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 a bunch of college kids on. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> well, These are drinking rooms. I mean, this is terrible. I shouldn't say this. But let's just say that they knew who I was, and I knew who they were. They yeah. knew the yeah. guy in the blacked out excursion. Which is a story for another day. <laughs> we spray painted a Ford excursion. Spray um, painted. Yeah, pitch black. The whole thing. Pitch we black. left a gap on the windows. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a tank, man. Yeah, yeah, it looked like an eight small children. We'd like be on the road and we'd get out of like a truck stop and dudes would come up and be like, "Hey, man, y'all bounty hunters?" <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! <man. laughs> hey, you think I am? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you got warrant. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, he. 
we were having a conversation years later, and he was talking. I said, he was talking about riding his bike. And he was into that, and I was like, you mean like the spandex, skinny tire, <laughs> kind of bike riding? And he said, yeah. And I said, I don't know if we'd be friends, but. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but what was funny was what started. He pulled in the driveway and saw that vehicle and knew. <laughs> Who it was, <laughs> yeah. kind of back and forth about. Five. It would, it would, would have been He's a bad his idea if I'd ever pocket. broke down on that road. Because every time I pass, I'm like, get the fuck out! You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If I'd ever broke down on that road, I mean, that's a gang. You can't tell your friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell nobody you what happened. You throw it out there, fell on the stairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, but no, that's why you gotta leave it with bikers. Like you gotta like just leave it as bikers. Like yeah. 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 I was trying out. I was trying out another Ducati. Bikers, man. Oh yeah, what crew? No, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. They told me not to tell nobody. Best select sleeping squad. dogs. Yeah. 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 I knew like, one guy, <laughs> one dude I ever knew, like personally, who was a, a cyclist. I got duped into it was like me and a couple other buddies. We were like early twenties, all living in an apartment, and we got duped into living with this guy. One of my friends vouched for him. He's like, he's cool, he's cool, he's cool. He used to go full, full spandex suit, and on the weekends he would ride like a hundred miles. Yeah. yeah. Like he'd be like, yeah, we're gonna go up to like the Hudson Valley and down, and I'm looking at him on a map. I'm like. You're going like upstate New York on a bicycle. He's like, yeah, just like a quick hundred. Like, what the fuck? I didn't know that's how that shit worked. Yeah, I mean, that cannot be comfortable. <laughs> cannot I, be comfortable. Man, I tried the mountain biking thing, right? Because I was Ooh. trying to, I don't, I can't run real good. My knees are fucked up. Yeah, knees back. Hold on a <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, but I never was really good at running long distance. I just, I, I fucking hate it. Mm -hmm. um, you play sports growing up? I also yeah, feel like, with I like sprinting, the like from one place to the next, yeah. I'm good. That's, but if I have to start guy. pacing myself and... Learning breathing, breathing like techniques. Yeah. Yeah. Heel toe. Yeah. I, can't, I can't do it up here. I can't. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. For, I'm with you on that. <laughs> I, just, I eat myself alive up here. <laughs> <laughs> anything, more, anything more than 600 yards. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> oh, shit. What did you, what did you play? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I played baseball and football, man. Okay. Coming up and, and uh, you know. I'll, I'll never forget that stuff. My look, my son is is on his first T-ball team this year. Me too, man. I'm actually leaving. I was gonna stay like through all the way Friday, but I found out he's got his first T-ball on Friday, so I'm gonna get out of here early. Nice, dude. So he's on he's he's on the Grasshoppers as the team. Nice. And there's another team in the league named the Muck Dogs. <laughs> and I was like. Come on, how come we couldn't have been on the muck dog? <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm gonna like call the commissioner or whatever, and like, here's like here's a hundred dollars. Can we be on the muck dog? Please? Yeah. I need like a little picture of him with a t-shirt that says muck dog. <laughs> Do you not use regular like real teams anymore? No, I, like, I, I was a not. kid. I was, I was on the Twins when I was a kid. Right, I was on the Marlins. Yeah. I was on the Orioles. They used, I don't know. Well, also, B's been suing teams. Well, you know what? Maybe. <laughs> one of those seven-year-olds <laughs> disparaging the Orioles' name. No, the best. I, but it might have been like were you you, you were T-ball. I, I was. Yeah, I mean, I did it my whole my I'm whole baseball now, career. I was always on. You like, guys didn't play for like the local stores in your town. I did, yeah, no, that's a we, we I I put Kerr's Village Pharmacy. We had them on the You have a back. good game on yeah, Saturday, you walk there in there you Monday, you're like, yeah, I want some candy. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> you want to get it for free? <laughs> we had a team that was Number called, two? It was called uh, Interboro. It was like Interboro, like gas and oil or some shit. But yeah. so like that was always like the good team was always into Burrow because I think some shit was going on where they were like <laughs> they, they were like grown men making sure like the good ten year olds were on their team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think when I was like on T ball I was a part of like the Bears or whatever, a fake team. But either way, I was like Grasshopper man. The grasshopper's rough. That's a yeah. rough name. It was it was the storm, the thunder, the muck dogs, some sort of cats, which was even cooler. Like I would have even taken the cat over the grasshopper. But I don't know, Grasshopper's got some karate shit too with the Grasshopper. <laughs> anyway, how's, 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 your, how's your squad? Yeah. How's, 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 how's your team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah let's go. I want to know how his team is. full of young Grasshoppers? What's they that? got a name. They don't have yeah, a name, they're just playing. Weird, That's the yeah, scariest the thing a team could do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is uh, horrifying. <laughs> and let me tell you though, a team with no name. come up, right? I graduated with six people. 66? And that, our high school's like 4A now. Think about to go five. Really? Like it's huge. 
It's well, like looking at the situation, like, y- y'all can't give them a, a name? Yeah, for real. <laughs> you know what I mean? The teams can't have a name. But I'm telling y'all, man. You like, got to sponsor that shit. And just yeah, how do, you, you how do you do a cheer without a name? Potato yeah, right. chips, potato well, chips, well, munch, right. munch, munch, munch. I'll tell you this. What was yours? Potato chips, potato chips, munch, munch, munch. Who do we think is a mighty fine bunch? And I didn't know that one. Other, I've never heard that, that one. one? We, I think we just did the... <laughs> you didn't have any cheers? What is it, bro? <laughs> you, do, you do a cheer at the end of the game for the other team? He's like, no, that's some pussy shit, chips, man. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> Who, Who do we, we think is a really fine, fine bunch? bunch? Yeah. Um, now, we did dude. two, four, six. <laughs> My bad. Dude, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't his idea. I'm going to go. Dude. I'm going to go. You Somebody. just need this guy in the line with you with your tagging hands. When you get to the last guy, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what were you gonna say though, brother? You were no, saying man, my son. So like, I was really excited about it. From the time he was like too young to know what a ball was, you know, I had him his glove ready for this year. You know, I've been waiting on this, yeah. and I don't know what in my mind. I guess I thought he was gonna walk out there and. You know, just Rick Chipper Jones right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just knows all his shit because he's my son. Yeah. <laughs> Point blank period. You know, have y'all ever seen, like, read the book or watched the movie Ferdinand? Ferdinand? I don't think so. I didn't watch it. It's about that. the bull, right? Show. Yeah, it's about a bull. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I and do like, know Ferdinand the bull. Yeah. But... Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's, he's like a big bull, but he acts as. Yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going. yeah, yeah he's yeah. a big old bull. Right. But... When all the little other bulls are like fighting and stuff, like Ferdinand, like smelling flowers and playing in yeah. the dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> he's you know, he's a two year old daughter, which is my little gangster. She's, she's, she's the one who's messing fucking yeah. shit She's up. ready yeah. to go out on it. I want to play, you know, and she's yeah. out there running the bases. After, but my son could give two shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, maybe that changes. Is she know. older or young? She's younger. She's younger. Yeah. She's my mean one. You got to have her. You got to have her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, dude, I'm not joking. At all. So, like, my son's like, he's pretty soft hearted, right? And, and his his temperament, I, I'm not real sure where he got it. <laughs> but my daughter is like, I know exactly where that one came from. <laughs> I walked in the other day, like, they were in the, the little play area. And my wife does so good, man. So, dude, y'all, my wife is a, a rock star mom, right? Like, what I do for a living, I stay gone. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, and she she knocks it out of park, man, and she does so good with them. Me, on the other hand, I can kind of get home and be a little bit, you know, I'm still learning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, I'll let them get away with stuff sometimes. My daughter can get away with murder, honestly. Mm-hmm. But my son, I walked in the other day, and my son was up in the playroom playing by himself, and he didn't see me, you know, or hear me come in. So I was like, I heard my daughter coming up the stairs, you know, into the playroom. So I was like, I'm just going to stand back and see how they interact. You know, my wife was downstairs, so it was just them two. And I was like, I wonder what goes down. Mm-hmm. And it was just the two of them. <laughs> he's facing this way, and he's just playing with his little toys and stuff. And, dude, she come up behind him and hit him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and when I tell you she ran back, I mean, like, she had dust on her knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> you know and freaking just threw a haymaker. For no, and hit him no in the reason? Face. Yes, dude, out of nowhere. And I was like, fuck. You know? And he just, he kind of started, I could tell he was like, ow, sissy. <laughs> and I had told him, you know, so she was, you don't hit a girl. Point blank. Right, you don't right. hit a girl. You don't hit a girl. But, you can't hit a monster, though. <laughs> you, can point, hit a, you can hit a yeah, female It's to the point now where I'm like, I'm setting him up to get his ass beat up. <laughs> so that was the first time I'd seen it, like, full-fledged, like, out of nowhere, just... And he picked on her, you know. Yeah, I'm bit. sure that was... still does, but yeah. I don't know what he did earlier in that day, but I don't know where she saw anything hit anything like that. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah. She yeah. When you guys go to bed on Saturday night, she comes downstairs, grabs a beer, and watches MMA. Yeah, she watches watch Rambo. And shit. Yeah. But then I was, and, and I, you know, you would think, I said, sissy, and you'd think she'd turn around and look out. Look like, around, oh, like, oh, shit, I'm in trouble. She's like, whatever, dude. So she looked me up and down like, like the bird. You're next. said that look. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, bust a move. 
<laughs> she just looked me up and down like, what the fuck are you finna do? <laughs> you ain't got no like business. You can get it too. You can get it too. You're next, Pops. Better go on about your business, Pops. You don't want to smoke like this. You don't want to smoke. What, are you going to tell mom? You going to tell mom? Get out of here. It is funny, though, when you want, like, you, you want your boy to play ball, right? Like, yeah. It's like, I'll, I'm, I'll love him, and he can do whatever the fuck he wants. He could be a ballerina. If he's happy, I'm happy. But maybe if you want to play baseball, too, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just a thought. He, he's actually raking. He can swing the bat pretty well, so I'm excited to do that. But I started pitching to him a little bit. And when he was real young, I started pitching to him. And if he missed, I would be like, oh, that was my fault. That was a bad pitch, bad pitch, bad pitch. Yeah. And now he's old enough that he'll swing and miss. And be like, that was a bad pitch. That was a bad pitch. It was bad when you were like 12 months old. You are five, brother. You swung and missed. You, you swung a bad pitch. Keep your eye on the ball, man. <laughs> yeah, I swear, dude. I think, you know, I don't want to over my over pressure my son to do anything. If he yeah. if he's a hard no on that stuff, you know. Okay, last thing a little bit, you know, because yeah. you want him to play. Right. And But more than that, man, I learned so much just from being on a team. It's how to be right. social. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Like, and lose and win and yeah, all that shit. Yeah. yeah. It's corny and stuff, but it's really is what it's about. You Especially know? in today's society, man. I, I, You know, it's important to me, you know, to raise. I'm not raising a little boy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm raising yeah, a man. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. You know, It is funny, though, because I know there's so much... You know, everybody talks about participation, trophy awards, and all that shit. Yeah, fuck Winning that. and losing. Of course. Agree with all that, right? But, like, when my kid is up there, his, his sister's a little bit older, so she did baseball for a hot second, and she was like, I do not like this. I was like, yeah, we got to get you back in dance class, girl. Like, okay. <laughs> she, she was doing cartwheels and shit when she was, like, one. We tried baseball for a day. I was like, back to gymnastics. Let's go. <laughs> but, like, when she was up at the plate and, like, was swinging and missing on a fucking tee, I was like... Oh, I will give anything for her to just like get a fucking little ribbon and go home. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gonna be so upset about this. Just hit the ball, please. Or can we just give her? Can we cheer for? Can we do the potato chip cheer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, hey, my buddy's got make potato her. chips thing. It's working pretty good. Yeah. Like, in that moment, I'm like, please, just don't be sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's funny. It's a trip. It's more like watching just. Herding cats, man. Yeah, a bunch of little kids running around mm -hmm. the place. But I, I did, I did that one. I helped my, uh, I helped my brother coach his daughter in soccer, and neither of my brother and I never played soccer. But she was, you know, they were like, they were like four. Right. And I, I played sports growing up. I like, and you know, you always had coaches yelling at you like. You fucking playing patty cake over there? <laughs> you're like, fucking move! You know what I mean? And it was like such a silly idea that anyone would ever actually be playing patty cake. <laughs> and literally during this game, no, no, the ball's down one end, starts coming back towards our D, and both girls are standing there, genuinely <laughs> playing patty cake, uh -huh. and to have to sincerely yell at someone <laughs> to stop playing patty cake. <laughs> I literally, I burst out laughing. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And the, the, just the, the offensive rush just blasted past him. It was still just like, insane. That's awesome. Insane. Literally playing back. Dude, that's the thing, too, right? Like, coaching styles now. Yeah. Like, you I, can't. I tried coaching. You can't do anything. You can't. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, it was I, not I, I went back to my, my high school a couple years ago. And all of my coaches have since quit. They just teach now because they're like, I get complaints from parents every day, practice, games. Uh, we get complaints from the school, from the parents and the kids about playing time or yelling or, like, whatever. And these are coaches, like, we're not talking, you know, my, I, I went to a small high school, shitty basketball team. Nobody, you know, we weren't winning any championships. And even those guys were getting, you know you're being too rough or whatever. It's like, oh, boy. It's no, just not you worth You got to be Lord of the Flies with kids. <laughs> oh, don't do you. Oh, no, because, dude, have you ever coached little kids? <laughs> no, I yeah, went into no. it being like, I'm going to be the guy who, like, listens to their ideas. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and tries to, like, but guess what? They're be dumb. nice. The mo they smell blood in the water. The moment, the moment you're like, that, that is a good idea, Charlie. All of a sudden, fucking Peter's chiming in. And then it's just like, and then, and then you're just like, you're you got to 
to go back to like, all right, everyone on the end line. <laughs> it's like this fucking seven-year-old. <laughs> We're gonna run till we puke. <laughs> yeah. You can't. You can't. At least I can't. Uh, that, that, that literally happened to one of the coaches, like in my hometown, where it's like, like the JV baseball coach got fired, and everyone's like. Kicking the grass, like it's such bullshit. He got fired. And I was like, I was younger at the time. I was in middle school. I was like, what happened? He's like, he made the team sprint until every single one of them in the same bucket. And I was like, oh, okay. I, was like, I don't know. Maybe that was maybe that was right. <laughs> yeah, the same bucket is a bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what? Puking is like, it's more about the bucket. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the puking is okay, same but the some bucket. Sadistic shit. Like, like what like, happened with the bucket? Like, why all the same on? bucket? Yeah. <laughs> what did he do with the bucket afterwards? Bro, imagine being like a twelve. <laughs> you see, you see him just with a bucket of puke loading into his trunk later. Yeah, there's some weird shit going on. That's something. Yeah, it's definitely about the bucket. Just sitting around with his buddies afterwards. Like, you, you can't go a single bucket. <laughs> Look what they didn't I mean, I get it. I, I get it. I get it. You just know that guy goes home being like, I got fired. You know, yeah. like, why? He's like, you can't even make 15 kids puke in the same bucket, man. <laughs> Cancel culture, man. You can't even make 11 year olds throw up to the same receptacle. <laughs> Bullshit, man. Lucky shit, Jim. <laughs> I hate it. No, he's probably he's probably has a couple long drives in him where he's just sitting there like just thinking about it. What the hell? What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I completely Man. lost my cool there. Yeah. Maybe he thought it'd be easier for him to puke. He was looking yeah. at the puke. You know, he, he could have had some idea. Yeah. That is <laughs> smart. He's helping the kids. That's a great spin zone. You want to fuck over the groundskeeper. <laughs> yeah. Or Rick's been 60 years. I'm going to make his job harder. <laughs> or it's just straight up fucking weird. <laughs> some of my favorite, like my favorite coaches that I remember were, were guys that like crossed. In my, well not, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. But yeah. you guys would grab your face mask and headbutt you and yeah. cuss yeah. at you and stuff like yeah. that. Got my attention. <laughs> yeah. 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 I had coaches yeah. that come up and be like, "All right, now listen, this is what we need to do different." I didn't hear a fucking thing you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go over here and listen to the guy that's screaming at me. Yeah. 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 So I had this thing when I, before I had a a little wreck after high school. I was going to college and uh, I was coaching. Uh, kind of part time at the school I went to, man, and I thought, thought maybe that's what I wanted to do with my life. You know, mm -hmm. I, I was one of those guys in college. I never figured out what I, exactly I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. You know, at first I thought about criminal justice, and it was like, well, I mean, it's a lot. If I of look hours. at me and all my <laughs> friends. Like, that's not. It's just not gonna work. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the second I was like, I'm gonna try coaching. You know, and man, it's just it. Like you said, it, it, it's not. I wouldn't have made it. Like, with, with my temper being what it was, and I, you know, I, I wanted kids to be coached like we were coached, like be tough, like yeah, actually hitting each other. Now, you know, I was seeing some of these guys, and, and they were running sideline drills, and they were only like two feet apart. It's like, no, line him some bitches up 20 yards. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they'll take off, run him, meet them, and make it happen. <laughs> Apparently you can't you couldn't do stuff like no more. And I didn't tell y'all this was middle school, but I wasn't a varsity team. Or right. You know you got parents screaming, at you, yeah. "Why don't you play my kid?" Like, have yeah. you seen yeah. your kid? Sucks. <laughs> yeah. have you like, seen you're not he'll die if you I get, put him out. You're yeah. yeah. shit for bringing him here. <laughs> yeah, gonna get killed, I, that, that's what I don't understand. The, the parents who were like, "Why don't you play him?" It's like, you know, and maybe they don't. Maybe they don't watch their kid play. Maybe they've never seen him practice. And they don't know. It's like. You know if your kid sucks, though. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean, I know if my yeah. kid deserves garbage time or, you know, starting time. I, I get not understand it, though. I'm a Sixers fan, so I was like, for years, like, Ben Simmons is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> put him in. You put yeah. him. <laughs> Why let him shoot? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, you, you guys had to roll. You had, like, were you, were you almost, like, relieved when you have to stop defending him now? Uh, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes yeah. you're just like, oh, I knew he kind of fucking... I knew he couldn't shoot. I'm done I, with him. I, or you really had hope till the very I end. I had hopes un until the last, like that that series with that moment where he didn't when dunk. Shoot. Yeah, 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 that was. I, I was my quote was no Ben slander. He does so much good, but that yeah. Now that he's gone and I see him from like another perspective, he's a 
I was about to fucking say something I shouldn't say. I've been drinking. He's uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a pussy. I'm gonna go on record and just say it's probably a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If that Joker watches this podcast, oh, I'm you, know, <laughs> you know what? You're right. <laughs> 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 There's no editing that out. <laughs> he could probably actually step on me. <laughs> 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 I, but that's the thing, though. I only I only feel that angry at it because you love once and then it's the go away and it's like now I hate you. Yeah, you only yeah, no, hate I'm if you loved before. No, I'm with you. Yeah, there was enough letdown. Yeah. If you yeah. never love somebody, you're just like, eh, kind of whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If if you go one full off season without improving the three ball, yeah, at all, or in, let alone in, in just era. a jump shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. let alone it's your like, whole career, dude. Right. <laughs> yeah. You watch you watch sports? I do. Yeah. I don't watch sports basketball. Yeah. I wasn't real good at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we had... Me neither. Yeah. No. It just wasn't my... I, I played hockey, so, like, hockey players, like, are weird when you get on basketball court because we have this weird, like... Yeah, you actually they, play defense and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and people get yeah. so mad. Like, we get, yeah. like, we get fouled before, and, like, we're definitely fouling. Like, yeah, yeah. slapping you. Yeah. <laughs> but, but people, like... Well. It was, like, it was, like, a known thing. Like, it sucks playing ba ho basketball against hockey players. And it's probably because we had, like, a little brother complex about how basketball's popular and hockey isn't. Um, yeah. So, like, we're gonna no. fucking show them what's what. I do remember, though, playing basketball, there was, like, a, a switch that flipped... Maybe like around like eight, like a little bit before high school, where it's like they teach you to play defense by just like standing in front of someone, right? And then once you get old enough, where someone was like, "I'm gonna play up on you," I remember being like, "Wait, you're supposed to just stay like <laughs> two feet in front of me and let me dribble and make decisions. You're not supposed to try to swipe it away from me." Like, fuck yeah, it, you know? but it's got a lot harder. That and when in baseball, when they started throwing breaking balls, so I was I was shining when I was like 12, and at 13 they were like, "You're cut." But at, at 12, I was the man on the on the court and the diamond. And then as soon as the ball, st I was like, "How am I supposed to hit it? They moved out of the way of my back." It's impossible, man. You an MMA guy? Mm. Yeah, man, I'm a fan. Uh, I mean, I don't do shit myself. No, I, it's, actually, it's, that's cra a good it's crazy that that's kind of like a. So I feel like so many people do it now. Yeah. Either, either you know, just for exercise or whatever, or like somewhat competitively. But I like to mess around with a little boxing and stuff, and and uh, I mean, I'd like to learn some stuff like that. But man, I you know, I'm good buddies with Jimmy Rivera and Cowboy Cerrone is a buddy of mine, and mm. and. Uh, Man, just watching those guys do it, they do, like, I'm amazed. It, that sport specifically, because, I mean, there's n n there can't be any better feeling than beating the shit out of somebody. Yeah. Yeah. God, yeah. Everybody. You know what I mean? What you want for right. 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 All right. But you, the flip side, there's there can't be a worse feeling in sports, right? You, get, you can win or lose as a team, you know, an individual yeah. sport. It's just you. you. It's the oldest freaking game in the world, right? I, I remember Brendan Schaub telling a story. He, uh... Like, one of his first big fights was in Brazil, I think. And his family, like, traveled to Brazil to see it. And I think he got knocked out, like, the first round. Oh, and I even, thought, I and think even I his mom that. was kind of like, jeez, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Or, or something like she didn't come to many fights. So you put after all that. your eggs in this basket? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was something like, you know, the next time, like, uh, Ma, are you going to come to my next fight? And she's like, do you remember what happened the first time? <laughs> <laughs> That's the the worst worst. Your mom's not even concerned anymore. She's just disappointed. <laughs> yeah. so when you get knocked out, she's like, I don't want to even. It's like, you really embarrass me. Potato <laughs> 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 I just. <laughs> <laughs> they should. They they steal potato the chips, potato the chips in the UFC. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe how exhausting that must be. It's got to be the most exhausting. Like, I just remember fighting my brother. Yeah. 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 You're, you're, yeah. It was at it's... most a, like, 25 to 30 second, like, <laughs> scuffle. And then yeah. you just gas. And, and, and you feel like you've been well, fighting for six days. Yeah, man. Well, <laughs> you've been that's not even the, 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 uh, the adrenaline in it, too. When you fight for real... We we do uh, that rough and rowdy thing. We it was uh, like amateur, amateur, amateur boxing ring, uh, box, boxing like league, if you will. Um, where like we'll go to West Virginia and bounce around down south, and just like local guys will fight each other. Sometimes there's like a grudge match. Other times it's just people who want to want to scrap a little bit. But it's three one minute rounds. And people are fucking gassed Dead. after oh, yeah. it. They, and they say not only because it's it's like you are you know you're not uh, you are active. 
but you get the adrenaline goes bananas, goes like through the roof from the crowd and the lights and the fear and the all that shit. And it's just like, and, and so we've had a couple guys from our company fight in it, and they train hard, boxing training. <laughs> it's not MMA, it's, it is boxing. So they're they're trying to learn, you know, combos and shit, and then they get in there and it's just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just duck him, yeah, le legit, bro. Guys show up in jeans sometimes. <laughs> it's real funny. Dude, it's... They used to do a thing here where people in the business, like business execs and shit, would get out. It was like the Rumble on the Row or something in Nashville, and they would box each other. The business execs would. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, it was weird. Dude, it was I... Kind of boring, but. I gassed myself not too long ago, VR boxing. <laughs> no. <That'll get> you <laughs> yeah, dude, because your stamina in VR boxing is just your stamina. Yeah. And you got to, like, fight a guy. <laughs> oh, and I know joke shit with the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 war out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I'm literally in my kitchen, like, trying to rope with you. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it was ridiculous. You were not a real enough sweat. freaking haymaker on that dude, like, oh, money shot. <laughs> <laughs> standing there, like, fuck, no. <laughs> like, like, you know, when you argue with video games, it's completely pointless. Anyway. But especially VR. It's like, yeah. no, I know I knocked that motherfucker out. There's no way he's still fighting right now. It's wild how far that shit has come watching. I mean, we, we pretty much... Oh, it's so how old are you? Come on, man. 37, bro. Yeah, me, all right, me too. I'm 37, too. I thought you were going to say, like, 50 or something. <laughs> but, like, we've, we've watched. Me too. I look 50. Yeah. No, <laughs> but the way you reacted, I was like, what, man? Shit. <laughs> we, we watch video Puts games. Put camo from... in the beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the gray patches, like, right here. Yeah, you get, like, up. Wolverine shit. Yours yeah. are, like, they're weird gray spots. I yeah. wanted to go I want to go all gray. I'd love to be, like, a silver fox. Get yeah, that salt <laughs> somehow, pepper going. Somehow found a worse question than, like, so you're living on a bus? <laughs> just living off the bus these days, huh? <laughs> so funny enough, though, man, no shit, when if my wife is out of town with kids or something or for whatever reason she's not, that like, I'll sleep on the bus. I built a house there and nobody Wait, when was you're really home? in it. Oh, yeah, See, it wasn't a stupid question. No, 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 honest to God. Like... In a couple of weeks, we've got two shows in Red Rock, it's Colorado. Oh, damn, that's, that's, that's like the awesome. spot, right? Yeah. Dude, I mean, I feel for every every act, music, comedy, whatever, Red Rocks is it. Yeah. It's like the that's most beautiful. Fucking, this has got to be perfect time of year to be hitting that, yeah. too. Oh, man, it's, it, yeah, we've been, and it's, you know, it's been canceled twice because of, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, all the bullshit. Yeah. And, uh, man, you look like the guy wears masks, right? Yeah, I love them. <laughs> Dude, I'm not shooting you. This is no joke. And I'm not saying this for any other reason it's true. In my my hometown, we were the first high school in the nation to open back up, mm -hmm. you know, from the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You really, in Maysville, the town I actually live in, it, it nobody, it didn't look yeah. any different. Like, yeah. you literally didn't know. I mean, there was just... It was hard mm -hmm. to find toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there were some sick folks, but it was like, you know, we've been sick before, we're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rub some dirt on it and work it. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. For me, it was fun to find that first place. Like, I live in, like, New Jer Jersey City in New York, and then I went to uh, Phoenix, and Phoenix they was like, it didn't exist, and it was just like, oh, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they yeah. really didn't give a fuck. <laughs> they, they had no rules, yeah. yeah. Um... That's what we did. Shane and I, like, when they, at the beginning of the pandemic, we drove to, like, South Carolina, where then it was fine, and then it started to get bad there. We drove, like, deep into Virginia. Dodging the virus. Just kept going to places like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so you're playing Red Rocks, you said, right? And then what, yeah. when you're here on the bus? And... Yeah, so, I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a ride, mm -hmm. and... Man, I, I'm riding a bus. Like, I can't stand flying. Like, I, I got very Plus few fears in life, man. Uh, there ain't a human alive that scares me. Uh, yep, that's but, <laughs> but you said burying a human alive? No, <laughs> you're there, ain't a human alive. Oh, there. I said burying a human alive. <laughs> like, Whoa. It scares you're me. You're doing too. the burying? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's some politicians that freak me out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'll say, like, like... This is the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this just shit freaks me out. I gotta put one of these down. down. <laughs> you find a chicken pit. <laughs> Walk to the house. <laughs> to the hall, man. But no, like, I got 
a few fears in life is like snakes, sharks, heights. I'm not crazy about water. I can't see I'm, to the I'm, bottom I'm of all that. and it's bees. Commitment, you know, <laughs> like it's, it's a bad deal. And, but yeah, planes free. I don't, I don't really like flying unless I absolutely have to. Like, I've rode the bus from Georgia to California, mm -hmm. you know, Georgia to Texas. Yeah, but you know what? As long as you get a nice bus and you got whoever you're traveling with, they're all cool. It's almost like a, you know, it's fun in a yeah, way. You right? see like, the country in a different way yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Like that. Yeah. I like those long trips, man. Cause we stand, you know, so. Kevin, Kevin and PJ are two probably two of the closest people to me in my life. I've spent more time with Kevin, my bus driver, than I have anybody yeah. in my life, my wife included, you know, in the last 20 years. Yeah. Uh, he's just my dude, man. And, and a lot of times, you know, I can't tell you how many miles, you know, we've seen through the windshield just talking about whatever. And yeah. that's, yeah. that's probably, man, for whatever reason, looking out the windshield is my... Yeah, everybody's got a happy place. If I'm on a bike, mm -hmm. that's cool. Yeah. But being on that bus, man, I always feel like I'm going somewhere, so I always feel like I'm, you know, being productive. Mm -hmm. More so than yeah. when you're on stage? You like being uh, on the bus? You know, it, it's a different, different feeling, yeah. Different kind of... Because I do get theory. what you're saying, though. It's like you and your boy, you contemplating life, you're talking, yeah. you know. I feel like the bus is a relaxing place, and the stage is like my experience. Yeah, you're yeah. working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you kind of come back to your little sanctuary, you know. And right. what's cool about small, like, I'm a clean freak, and I'm a little bit obsessive compulsive, so it's a small area to keep clean and right. straight and nice right. and just, you know, going from the hustle and bustle that can be home into that controlled environment, you know. But even when Amber and the kids are out, like, when they're out, they take... They take over. It's yeah. not. It's yeah. not your bus anymore. No. Yeah. Yeah. I drag a trailer behind. Yeah. It. yeah. So I have yep. somewhere to go. To. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah. They definitely take over. But yeah, man, that's uh, that's been one of my favorite things in the world. But usually it's me and Kevin and PJ, and I call them my twin towers. They're both a lot taller than me, and they're both black guys. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they'll get going back and forth. I swear, listening to them two argue is one of the joys of my life. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. And, and what's awesome is they've been around rednecks for the past 20 years. So both of them had a redneck car and everything. I heard that phrase. I was going to see the flip. I need one of those. Can you imagine? Would that get me in the helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kevin got up in the helicopter. Kevin's done some shit that Kevin never thought in a million years Kevin would do. <laughs> and I have put in it, I've put him in some pretty weird spots. One of the first times we went to a, I took him, took my dad and a couple of my buddies on a hunting trip, and we took the bus. It was up in Illinois. And all of us were asleep when we got there, and Kevin starts blowing my phone up and calling me, you know, from the front, you know, calling me in the back, and... Yo, B, get up here. <laughs> I get up front. And Kevin's, Kevin's a 6'4", six, 6'5", six, black dude from New Orleans. Yeah. He's he's an old school gangster, man. He's yeah. now like a born-again Christian. He's, he's an unbelievable dude, man. His yeah. testimony's incredible. And uh, But he called me up front, and he was like, dude, I need you to be up here right now. And I was like, why? He's like, look at all this shit. He said, there's a bunch of white men getting bows and guns and shit out of the truck. <laughs> he said, this is a scary place for a black man. <laughs> well, fast forward. <laughs> fast forward three years. Both. I was riding the bike week with the, with the club. I won't say which club, but mm -hmm. we pulled up at the clubhouse, and he calls me from the back, and I'm asleep, you know, and I'm halfway. I get up to the front. He's get up here. Get up here. And I got up there, and he said, Man, you remember that time I told you that, that was a scary place for a black man? I said, yeah. He said, that wasn't shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that, you need to get out and have a drink with the guys and stuff. And he was like, fuck you. <laughs> and you get these bikes off this trailer. <laughs> so I get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, he's been in some spots. That's a great fucking one story. One of my favorite dudes in the world. <laughs> Sunday mornings, he sings with the choir. Like, like he'll mm -hmm. he'll put his church on, you know, in the front. One morning, he was sitting up there, and you know, when anybody puts headphones on, you know, I bet Carrie Carrie Underwood with headphones on, mm -hmm. if she couldn't hear herself, might be a little off. Right. You know? <laughs> so Kevin's just nowhere close. <laughs> <laughs> this particular word, I was still drinking, so I woke up, mm -hmm. and you know, I never really caught a hangover. It was just. 
We you know, kind of continuing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, went yeah. up front to pour me a drink, and usually, you know, I'd open the door, sit down beside him, you know, and that was how our day got started. And this morning in particular, I, I was, wasn't feeling awesome. So before I opened the door, I just kind of sat down in the little captain's chair, and I could hear him singing. And he was singing like, amazing grace. And then I felt the bus wiggle, <laughs> and he stopped singing. <laughs> and I listened a little closer, and he was praying. He said, Lord, <laughs> I'm asking you for patience this morning, Lord. You know, this, that, and other. And I was like, okay. <laughs> he goes back to singing, you know. He lives, he lives. This, that, and other. And the bus shook again. He said, Jesus, I'm going to ask you one more time for patience. <laughs> this man is trying me, Lord. He's done cut me off a few times. And I'm trying my best to be patient with him, Jesus. But I, I need you to have your hand on me now because I'm... I feel like my patience is being tried. <laughs> he goes back to singing. And then the bus rocked the third time. And he said, motherfucker! <laughs> 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 He's the the door up, brother. You can't be cussing during the main break. I'm sorry, dude. This dude cut me off five times. Right? He was mad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we've, had, we've had some good times, man. I tell you... Uh, <laughs> he's he's family. He and PJ both, um, man, they, like, my little brother got married, and it was literally, like, dads, moms, you know, brothers and sisters, and mm -hmm. Kevin and PJ. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. They're, they're, they're literally, like, between them and Steve and... Yeah, man, I mean, life on the road and dude, life right. in, in the, something like the music industry or whatever, like... You gotta find good people and hang on to them because there's Absolutely. snakes and rats. Because everyone groupies snakes and, and rats. All, everyone. All rats almost. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. I mean, in every industry, if you have any sort of success, it's like you're a snake, you're a rat, you're a groupie, you're you're you know using me for my money, you're you're a fake, you're a fraud. So, and you, all you need is like one or two, because as soon as it's three, four, five, those guys become snakes and rats too. So, yeah. hold on to those ones close, man. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna play a quick little round of uh, Answer the Internet, which is our game. The last. Ten years on our show, we've had our fans call in with all sorts of stupid questions. I like as it. As dumb as they get. Uh, so I will pass you... Uh, yeah, you bet, bro. I'll pass you the card, and we can... Uh, we have a... The... I'm usually the damn bartender, man. <laughs> you want to pour You're them out? No, you've been You're nursing that son of a bitch for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Do we I drink vicariously box? through others. Yeah. <laughs> That's a true one? story. Yeah. Yeah, dude, the only thing that makes me uncomfortable is when people that do drink don't drink around you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah right, they're right. trying to do it out of respect, but it's like, fuck all that. You know, <laughs> that's why anybody that comes to the doghouse, I get behind the bar and I start pouring shots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm just going to yep, get this yep. out of the way from him. I'm, I don't want to feel like the naked guy in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. the, uh, the comedian Nick Swartzen has a joke about that where he's like, uh, what's he's, he's like, I hate when people ask, like, can they drink around me? Because it's like, but I don't, I don't like ketchup. You don't have to ask if you can use ketchup around me. Just fucking use the ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that is I'm going to use that. Yeah. Um, all right. So let me... Uh, here, you want to go through yeah. a couple? So we're going to... So, yeah, these are... I mean, we've had the dumbest of the dumbest. So I'll pick out a couple of them. Um, that's a funny one. This will be funny doing it with you. <laughs> I, I think we'll get some good answers out of this. And you guys I don't think we'll I talked about any of the shit I was supposed to. So I'll oh, wait, 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 yeah, yeah. What are you, oh, what, 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 <laughs> what, you, know, what are you supposed <laughs> to talk about? <laughs> well, Man, it's just going to be like, that, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know what? This is... The management doesn't know what they're talking about. <laughs> this is the way to get yeah. more people to, to listen to your shit, mm. follow your shit, because you just go on a show like this, and they like you, and that's it. <laughs> well, I'll watch you guys, man. I got, I've had a trip watching some of it, so being a part yeah. of it is pretty cool. You Appreciate know? that. Yeah. I just thought I got wrapped up in the moment. Yeah, I'm partying, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, did, you, did you have bullet points? <laughs> they sent some, you know, they always send me talking points. Because this could be fun. We could criticize but... your management for a while. <laughs> <laughs> why don't, why don't we, we go? We, they wanted we'll, to talk we'll, about we'll, what? <laughs> we'll rewrite the bullet points for you. Get a routine. <laughs> <laughs> why did you send me that? <laughs> All right. The door guy called me a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to break him in line one time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's begin. Here we go. Would you rather have 50 grand straight to your bank account or half a million in pennies 
Am I supposed to read that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 I don't know if it's a game. Or yeah. I'm supposed to have my car or something. No, no. All right, would you rather have 50 grand straight to your bank account or half a million in pennies and you can't convert it? Well, so you're probably rich, so maybe we got to up those numbers a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what number moves the needle for you, but... I'm going to have to take the pennies, bro. What are you going to do with the pennies? Bury them, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> for the copper? Yeah. <laughs> when the dollar <laughs> crumbles. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking the world. <laughs> Bury them. It would also be cool to just dump them in, like, a wishing fountain. <laughs> <laughs> just, just one fountain. <laughs> Half a million pennies. Oh Half a million dollars God. for the pennies. <laughs> that would be funny. That might be the best. pennies would that be? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Half a million in pennies? Yeah. You fuck me. You fuck that whole five million. Million. <laughs> no, no. You do it, you do it in like a really there. small, like European Alps kind of town. Yeah. Not one of my wishes that you have. Just bullshit. You just drop them. If you had to pick one person to be the ambassador for the human race to meet aliens, who would it be? <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Um, <laughs> there's an obvious funny answer to this one. <laughs> I think. Well, I mean, it depends on whether or not we're being comic or if we want to take us serious or not. <laughs> yeah. That's part of the. Question, I think you go wild, yeah. wild, wild, as wild to pull a swing at this as possible. <laughs> Fuck it, send Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Great answer. Great answer. <laughs> no, you know why the aliens Dude. would be like, "Oh, we've been waiting for you, Dennis." Okay, came back. Back. <laughs> Bro, 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 Dennis gonna roll up his Doc Mutt. <laughs> I haven't seen you boys in a minute. <laughs> Welcome home, Dennis. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He, he is a wild one, man. <laughs> yeah, it worked in North Korea. Right? <laughs> All right. Would you watch your buddy's sex tape with their ex? <laughs> That's it? That's it? <laughs> Some of them are so weird. <laughs> Would you watch your buddy's <laughs> sex tape with their like, ex? Like, like, if you had a sex tape with your ex and I came across it, would I watch it? And the answer is, hell yes, O'Connor. You would? <laughs> I'll watch anybody. You want to watch me fuck? <laughs> yeah, it'd be funny, you, man. Yeah, I would too. I would too. It has a little bit to do with the camera angle, right? Yeah, yeah. that's a great point. It's a great I mean, point. If we're being honest. Yeah. If it's a wide screen. You want to see a bunch of dick. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, especially not if it's my buddies. You know? yeah. <laughs> wide screen from far away, maybe, if we're getting up in there. I don't want to see and that And is she hot? Yes. 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 But my answer, man, I'm married man with two kids absolutely not i've never <laughs> really, 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 you know and i wouldn't want to be disrespectful to his ex <laughs> um i feel like that's also one of those things that would start funny and then you'd be like I, what am i doing here <laughs> 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 like, oh my god this is gonna be ridiculous he <laughs> 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 sounds like that <laughs> The minute he's out of breath. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been somewhere with your friend <laughs> fucking fucking <laughs> nearest yeah, mo? That, yeah. <laughs> that was the fucking thing. <laughs> 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 Would you rather everyone be naked all the time or clothed all the time? Oh, that's a double-edged sword. Yeah, yeah, it is. And all the time, all the time. Like, you shower, you got to shower in your clothes. You're in church. You're, you're always... in, you're in, yeah, you go to bed, you're at wherever. You, you either got to be naked all the time or clothed all the time. You got to see your grandma naked. Yeah. <laughs> your boss, all the ugly people in the world, you're walking down the street. Any naked. funeral you go to, you're just a... Everybody oh, naked. I didn't think about funerals, so dude. Stiff. <laughs> naked. You get, a, you get a boner at that funeral. Oh. Yeah, everybody's... <laughs> yeah, that, that's the worst part, is every that's time you mistake. fuck, you got to do it yeah. with a condom. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... Clothing? clothing all the time. <laughs> you got clothing. Clothing. Yeah. If, if, either naked all the time or clothed all the time. Clothed all the time. No. I, I feel like it's, it's got to be... It, it's not not the best, but it's better than naked. I think I would that. go clothes. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. How do you, can you still fuck? Who's yeah, yeah. clothes on though? Who's yeah, yeah. all dry rub? No, no. I'll, Hold give, up, you, I'll give you like Hold a poke up. out. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go with clothes. Have you seen some of the clothes we got now? Because clothes could be. Cl yeah. Great point. Yeah, you got fashion over now. You see yeah. what some of these cyclists are wearing? Fucking loincloth is clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going clothes, right? 
Uh, see. <laughs> Are these really like just shit people sent y'all in? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know. They this them. fucking guy, would you watch your buddy sex? He totally did it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, a lot, you know what? A lot of them actually come from like, this happened to me. What would you guys do? So that one probably was a real yeah, story. No, he, yeah. was, he was just sitting there staring at like his buddy's phone being like, I gotta ask the boys. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just hoping to reach out to someone's like, you guys do this too, right? Like, you totally do it. Would you switch your penis size with your foot size? How big's that foot? What's that, what size we got? <laughs> That's a damn 11. But. I think no matter what, it's a yes. I don't know. Yeah. That's Book a button. The sickest answer to this is like, it's a watch. But then the thing like. That's that. that. apples for apples. I probably have some pretty serious balance issues. Yeah, that's the thing. You're being on fucking stilts, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to do I'll keep my dick. I'll keep my dick. <laughs> Let's, yeah, do, let's do a couple more mm. for you. <laughs> you can be quiet, mm. sneaking up on them. <laughs> be like being on your tippy toes. <laughs> what is the one food you can eat for the rest of your life? Pussy. No. <laughs> 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 Bro, even with the, the, the hard pee was coming, I was like, he's going to say pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pizza. We finally so got it. Why is it important? <laughs> no, it was terrible. Pizza? Yeah, pizza's pizza probably, is yeah. Pizza. Yeah. Pizza. Yeah. Pizza. Yeah. Yeah. You can't run that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I was going to say, we finally got around to the thing your management wanted you to talk about. <laughs> 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 it was <Shit>. bound to happen. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is the last one. This is funny for any of us, but I, I find it very, very funny for you. <laughs> Are you 50? <laughs> Would you rather wear high heels or be belly shirt? <laughs> belly shirt. <laughs> belly shirt. Yeah. I, I, I just imagine you just walking around in a cute little belly shirt everywhere you go. <laughs> just a little, little tank top. I feel like I'm right trying to find a way to make it cool or something. I got yeah. tattoos like that. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, your belly's cool. probably yeah. is cooler than my belly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to, about to <laughs> shrink it down a little bit, buddy. I got, man, I've been saying that for five years. <laughs> I finally, so I think May 8th is my day. We got uh, Red Rock 6th and 7th. And I've been saying, like, for literally the past <laughs> 10 years, there was one little, we were talking about uh, UFC and MMA earlier. I had a, a bad back injury and went to the doctor, and he said, basically, got to do surgery, or, you know, you can try physical therapy one more time. So Jimmy Rivera, New Jersey guy, he's got a bunch of MMA gyms there. Mm -hmm. Um Tiger showmans and stuff. Yeah. Um, but anyway. That name makes me laugh because it's Jewish for fighting. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. who thought a Tiger showman? Tiger showman. <laughs> <laughs> like, who thought a Jew would strike fear? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking too much. God damn it. <laughs> belly shirt. <laughs> you, stumbled, you stumbled on his anti Semitism. <laughs> <laughs> We're in uncharted territory. You know. I don't think. Okay. <laughs> Black dude gets two whiskeys in him. He's like, Fucking Jews, no karate? I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, shit. Not where I'm from. We're all fucking done. We're done. We are. Yeah, that's me. That was me. That's that was us. That's, that's us. us. That's yeah, us. Yeah, that's the comments. Oh, my bad. Done. My that bad. Was, that was this side of the room. Yeah. <laughs> what was that movie, The Campaign, where he said... <laughs> oh, that... Wait, Will you Ferrell? You know talking about, right, where he said... My uh, dad was a politician <laughs> or something. He told me to always... What? Talk about the Will Ferrell Zach Galifianakis joke. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the line because I love. That's one of my favorite Will Ferrell movies, but I can't think of the really? line they're talking of. Dude. Either way, it's probably best to not even yeah. say. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, bro. So uh, the new single is uh, Rolex on a Redneck, right? Yeah, man. And mm -hmm. tickets are on sale for the tour. If if there's any still available, people can go get them, right? Yeah, man. Tell them where to get them. That's where to get them. <sighs> 
Go to social media. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking, you know the name, if man. You I'm really famous. Know. I'm not rich. Yeah, I mean, Take my name into the goddamn computer. Yeah. Fucking fine. Do what you're supposed to do. Do, do what everybody knows how to do. Go, go get it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, isn't it crazy when, like, you, like, a friend of yours will even be like, oh, you were in town? It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you knew I was in town. Yeah. You called me 50 fucking you times. Liked, yeah, yeah. You liked the post where I shared the date. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude, all right, man. We really appreciate you coming. Thank you so much. I appreciate much, y'all having me, man. Good Dude, great, love, love, really thank love. you very much. Hell yeah. yeah. Thank y'all for man, having me, you, man. bro. Enjoyed it, man. Great to meet you, man. You too, buddy. Y'all boys.